What's going on guys, this is Mia Sin. So yesterday we went over the OCG metagame breakdown number 7 and we saw that Tier Laments was actually using this new card right here, Visa Samsara, which is coming out in Age of Overlords, so the next core set. And it's actually pretty nasty because it is a one card Chaos Ruler. Ironically, this card doesn't even have like a really good effect, it's just that it becomes Visa Starfrost on the field and in the grave, and it has the heart stats. That's all you really need. The rest is kind of irrelevant. Oh, it, it's a tuner monster too. By the way, my bad. <laughs> Otherwise, it, would, um, it wouldn't be that great. So today I will be going over a few OCG combos, but I can also show some TCG combos using this card if you guys are interested. And if you are, you already know what to do. Smash the like and subscribe button, you already know the drill. 1000 likes is all we need, boys. It's all we need in order to show you the greatness of this card. But yeah, I'm going to be um, also showing you guys two combos in this video right here. Let's get right into it. Alright, so the first one is assuming that you get extremely unlucky and that you mill absolutely nothing. So yeah, normal summon Samsara and then link off into the light heart. And that's going to be searching the Reich Phobia, which will be searching the Reich Heart, and then Special Summon, so you can search her uh, Arrival or Nova, whatever. It is Arrival, yes. Yeah. So that's a monster reborn for Visa Starfrost or any Scareclaw monster. And again, this becomes Visa Starfrost in the graveyard and on the field. So that is how you can make the Light Heart using it, even though it's a, it's not a Scareclaw monster. It is, again, technically Visa Starfrost. So yeah, monster reborn back, and again, it's a level 4 tuner. So that uh, 4 plus 4 equals 8 so for the Chaos Ruler. And you're going to be excavating 5 right here. And uh, even if you get nothing, it's not the end of the world because you still have another shot at milling a bunch of cards. Because now we can go into the Visa's um, Vicious Astroloud, not the Visa's, by banishing the uh, Visa Samsara as well as the right card. Because you got yourself a Visa Starfrost in the grave as well as the right card. By the way, you can also banish two copies of Visa Samsara from the grave to summon this because it is both Visa Starfrost and a monster with the heart stats. This is like so convenient. And Vicious Astroloud is inherently really good in the Tier Lemans deck because it is a fusion monster so that once you get in the grave, you can fuse for Drago Stapelia using it. And then you're gonna have another Vicious, uh, Vicious Astroloud in your extra deck so that you can summon it again, which gives you a follow play because, uh, again, you can summon this card twice because you have four monsters to banish. One Rykart, one and three Samsara, actually. So yeah, you can summon this card twice. It's pretty cool. And it's a level 8 monster, so you can either go for the Zombie Vampire or for Krius right here. But we're going to be going for Krius, so... Yeah, uh, mill eight cards because we're sending a Guido and uh, we're also milling three cards with a Kurius. So three with Kurius and then five that both players mill on top of the five from Chaos Ruler. So that's already 13 cards. Assuming that again, you got really, really unlucky. You at least have like a dark monster to banish for a Chaos Ruler. Again, this is like absolutely nothing because this is assuming that you get extremely unlucky. Now, combo number two is going to be assuming that you get uh, just a little luck here. Alrighty, combo number two and uh, the only other combo that I'm going to show in this video but again, I can show the TCG version of this combo if you guys smash the like and subscribe button. But anyways, Visa Samsara is all you need in order to do a lot if things are going your way. So yeah, the very start of the combo is the exact same, so there's obviously nothing to show. The only difference is uh, if you get uh, slightly lucky or at least if you don't get unlucky with your mails because realistically, you're going to be hitting at least one or two cards if you're milling like 20 billion cards. Actually, you should be milling way more depending on your deck building as well. So now I'm milling no tiers that can fuse, but it's not the end of the world because I can keep milling cards. Tier Lemons Kashtira is going to be sending that Trivi Karma that I can banish to surge the Tier Lemons Field spell. It's not even that relevant, honestly. But anyway, summon the Vicious Astralauda, now go for Zombie Vampire, detach the Chaos Ruler, mill a bunch of cards, and I milled Murley so I can revive it back and mill an extra three cards. And oh, what do you know? Kelbeck is there too. Chilling 1 and 2 because I milled 8, so surge the Crime as well as the Terrellman's Kashtirwa with the, with the Solik. And now the uh, Field Spell is going to be searching for the Sharon because it's a, it's a good card to allow me to keep extending. I have three darks with different types, so obviously I can make Curious. Slightly forbidden in the TCG, I know, but this is an OCG video. Even my deck list is 100% OCG legal, I'm going to show it after. But anyways, a Curious send the Agido, so Chainlink 1, Chainlink 2 again. Mail an extra 8 cards, like how is this fair, bro? I have 4 cards in my deck already. This, this was a 1 card combo, and I started with 40 cards. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I'm gonna start my, um, my turn 1 with 5 cards in my hand, so 35 in my deck. Which means that at this point, I would have 0 cards in my deck. This is ridiculous. But we're obviously not done yet because I'm gonna go Reino Heart Effect and then uh, Effect of Hovness so I can fuse for the Kaleido Heart and then Chainlink 1, Reino Heart, Chainlink 2, share into Fuse. Chainlink 3, the Field Spell to destroy my Kaleido Heart. Are you kidding me? Fuse for the uh, Grafa Fusion and I'll send the Murley, which is another one of those monsters that didn't fuse yet and the Kaleido Heart is going to be um, reviving itself back by sending the Heartbeats from deck to grave and finally fuse, like I said, by getting back the uh, Vicious Astral out from the graveyard into the extra deck so again you have a follow-up play for next turn. Summon the Dragon 
Ghost Apelia. So I've got my three fusions now, <laughs> which is kind of nice, but uh, this is not even over yet. We still have more interruptions. Don't worry about it. With it there's always more with me, always. Heartbeats is going to be recycling back the Solik. Visa Samsara is going to be shuffling back all of your uh, Visa's monsters from the grave or banished. Well, as many as you want. Uh, I, I want to see the only ones that you really should be putting back from the... Well, into the deck would be the banished ones. The graveyard ones, you, just, you can just keep them there. But anyways, now I have two level 4 monsters, so I can either make a level uh, 8 synchro or a rank 4 monster like Redoer. But in this situation, the correct play is just to go for Redoer because I have too much money. I have too many monsters on the board, so I have to give myself a little bit of space, you know? And therefore, I'm going to be going Redoer effect, banish temporarily, and the Chaos Ruler is finally going to be using its effect after 10 freaking years. And oh, look at that. Another card that's banned in the uh, TCG is Glow Bulb. But for some freaking reason, they have Glow Bulb and Chaos Ruler and freaking Curious and Maxi and uh, a bunch of things, actually, that we do not have. But they also do not have Garura. They only have two Super Poly. Well, only, actually. It's uh, one less copy. Ooh. And they have, like, one Reino Hard, one Field Spell. But, like, who gives a shit? The deck is still way better over there than over here. And also, they have no Kishtira, so they don't even have to worry about, like, Shifter and a Ryzard and stuff like that. Trilaments is infinitely better in the OCG than it is in the TCG. But anyways, 8 plus 1 equals 9. You got yourself a sweet little Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss here, you know what I'm saying? So you got a, an Omni Negate. Basically, you can negate anything on the field as long as your opponent isn't, like, a skillful at the game and then draw, like, MST or Cosmic to banish his own spell and trap. And then you have, like, another Omni Negate and then, like, another one. And then you got, like, so, yeah, you got a bunch of negates. And then you got, like, Solik, which can negate monster effects. And you got Kaleido Heart, which is going to be shuffling back something. Pearl Arena is going to be destroying something. Dragos Tepelia is going to be negating something. So you got, how many interruptions is that? Approximately a lot, right? Oh, and I forgot, you also have uh, Mudora and Keldo in the grave. Uh, obviously, yeah. No, I mean, uh, we, we made like 35 cards. So yeah, it, it would make no sense if we didn't have all those cards in the graveyard. But um, yeah, this is looking like a, a lot of negates. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Enough to win. Oh, and we also mailed 14 cards from our opponent's main deck uh, <laughs> to the graveyard, which is a uh, very funny. Imagine if you play against like, I don't know, a deck that needs a lot of like one of uh, ah, could be good against like Rescue Ace. Huh? They banish all their relevant cards and then they can't do anything or against like, um, honestly, I feel like mailing 14 cards for your opponent's deck, unless it's like a tier mirror, can't go too wrong. Uh, unless you're playing against another deck that also plays a lot of uh, graveyard effects. But look, your deck is the superior one, Tier Laments, you know I'm saying? So you should be fine. This is not the kind of thing that would really do in a mirror match because you're milling 10 cards from your opponent's deck with the two Ishizu monsters and then an extra four with a zombie vampire so I would be a little more conservative if I uh if I knew this was a uh, mirror match but yeah otherwise I really don't care anyways that's it for the two combos now let's get into the deck profile Alrighty, so obviously nothing to go over for too long because this deck profile is for the OCG only, so it's not really like I have to explain too much, but obviously they have Maxi, they have Ash, so Ash is good to negate Maxi, and uh, Maxi is a good card because it's a good card. It's the best card in the game, kind of, in a way. I mean, among the cards that are uh, not banned, at least in the OCG, I actually think this is like one of the best cards to ever exist in Yu-Gi-Oh! But I still believe that Magical Merchant is better. And uh, Level Eater is also a really stupid one. I can make another video on this card if uh, you guys are interested. <laughs> It's uh, especially good with this card right here, the Abolontis, which is the best replacement for Chaos Ruler in the TCG. So they have that as like a semi-OCG exclusive, and we have this as a TCG exclusive, and it's uh, foolish for any insect or plant monster from your deck to the grave. So yeah, obviously you can imagine that uh, you can do a lot of uh, really beautiful, disgusting things with the Abolontis. Anyways, uh, for the deck, so we're playing three Tillerman's Kashtira, and then one of every single other Tillerman's monster, because they're all limited. Three of your broken starter, Visa Samsara, this card is cracked. One right card with the one right phobia, one arrival, the monster reborn. And then the Ishizu monsters maxing them out because again, they're all limited. Two King of the Swamp could be three. And uh, one Gluabob. That's it. I'm not playing Jet Synchron or the Brave Token Engine, even though you absolutely could. Griffin Rider is banned. I actually did not know that, but someone in the comment section corrected me. I uh, yeah, 24 monsters. And then for the spells, one Poly, one Terraforming for the one of Field Spell. One Foolish because no shit. Uh, two Super Poly could be something else, actually. I don't think this card is too great in the OCG because I actually have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just like making a deck list for what I am used to in the TCG. And I 
I hope that it's going to translate in the OCG, but probably not. This is just to give you guys an idea. But yeah, whatever. Three scream with one heartbeat. I mean, these cards are just like really good. So I think regardless of whether you're in the OCG or the TCG, you would want to play these cards. But I can understand if you want to play only two screams or even one. But like, I don't know. It's kind of like a really good card, honestly. And then uh, one, uh, sorry, actually, I already covered those cards. One Trivi Karma, obviously, Foolish Goods with this card is also pretty nice. Two Tierlement Solik with one crime. You could also get away with zero crime or mess around with a meta noise that is also respectable. For the extra deck, I'm playing the Graph of Fusion, the Garden Camera for Polymerization, which honestly probably might not even come up that often, but it's still good to have. A Lido Heart, Vicious Astroloud, Tierlement's Lulu Karos. You don't need Kid Kalos for that. You only need King of the Swamp. Same thing with the Graph of Fusion. So the, summon the summoning mechanics for these two monsters is identical, actually. Red Apple and Dragos Tapelia with the Mud Dragon of the Swamp. Auto Red Dragon Archfiend. I was gonna say a bit. King Calamity. Well, yeah, I mean, it's hard Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss, but yeah, without the King Calamity. Anyways, Chaos Ruler, Zeus, Zombie Vampire, this card is really nice, and it's not even being played in any of the OCG deck lists, so I, I really wonder why. Yeah, actually, I, 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 look, if you're in the OCG and you're watching my videos, take inspiration off of this, uh, even though there might be a, a bunch of things that are incorrect. Again, this is just my perspective on the format. Yeah, very nice card. Just gets you four extra mil, so why not, right? Time Thief, Doer, Curious, SP Little Knight, this card is stupid. And finally, Scare Claw Lightheart. Lightheart, Jesus Christ, I keep messing it up. I'm not even gonna bother going over the idea section because I think it's really obvious and not really relevant. Anyways, that's all I had for this video, guys. Remember to smash the like and subscribe button if you want a TCG version of this combo and deck profile, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Peace.